Hello friends and welcome to another exciting edition of Putting Gold into the Golden Years. We had an exciting week this past week. We actually went on a little trip. Yeah, we'd like to give a big shout out to the residents and staff over at Chanel Pines. Uh, why don't you tell about that, Luann? Okay. We, as a part of the travel program, we mentioned before that we have an opportunity to go to other facilities within the resort lifestyle communities. So we decided that we were gonna go over to Little Rock. They have a new facility over there that's about three months old. It's beautiful. And um, we just have to tell you how friendly, accommodating, helpful the staff were while we were there. Um, we had several people come up uh, and introduce themselves that were residents and ask if we were new and we told them about the travel program and why we were there. So it was a wonderful experience and it's so easy to make the arrangements. Once you get there, you're greeted and it's a part of our benefit for living here. So the financial outlay is already taken care of by our rent. So it essentially costs us nothing. So that's a pretty good deal. It's a very good deal. Right. So while we were in Little Rock, we were able to go along their river walk. They've got a very nice river walk over there. Mm -hmm. Then we also went up to Alma and saw a Popeye statue. Mm -hmm. We went up to Fayetteville and saw some, an interesting dancing pig. <laughs> we also went to Fort Smith and saw some interesting sights there. We're going to let uh, Nigel and Louise uh, narrate the photo sessions from those trips. We'll be back when they're over. Thank you Mark for allowing me to participate. Here we are on the road to Little Rock. There is a pedestrian bridge across the river and you can also see the Little Rock, Little Rock. Along the river in Little Rock they have a lovely sculpture garden. The sculpture garden has many different types of sculptures and the subjects include people and animals. Luckily Mark and Luan visited on a lovely sunny day and had good weather their entire trip. Aha, some friendly ducks searching for food. Little Rock should be very proud of their riverside park. It really is quite lovely and a great way to spend a sunny afternoon. At the end of the river walk Lou and accosted a policeman, and then tried her hand as a gunner's mate. The next stop 
was the old mill in North Little Rock. In Alma there was a statue of Popeye and a memorial to a policeman killed by Bonnie and Clyde. In Fort Smith, there was a historical site with the former courthouse and jail, as well as the gallows out back where they hung criminals. It was large enough to hang six at a time. Fort Smith was also home to U.S. Marshal Base Reeves and General William O. Darby, commander of Darby's Rangers. Another Fort Smith resident is Mr. Peanut and, of course Fayetteville has a dancing Razorback. At this point I will turn it over to Louise. Thanks Nigel. Little Rock is home to the Essie Purse Museum. It is one of only two purse museums in the world. The other one is in South Korea. They have a fine collection of purses sorted by decades. Another interesting feature is they have a set of paintings each depicting a woman with a purse. The purses in the painting are on display in the showcases. Here are a few examples. All around Little Rock you will see many art objects. Just a little way up the street from the museum was a storm drain painted as if fish were going into it. Thanks Nigel and Elise for that uh, narration for us. Uh, Luann, you got something you wanted to show the folks? Yeah, I forgot to say this earlier. One of the things that we went to in uh, Little Rock was a purse museum. And I think there'll be some more details about that later. No, there'll be. We just finished the details about that. 
<laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the Purse Museum <laughs> is one of only two in the world, and it was a very interesting place there in Little Rock. Uh, it was very nicely done. Uh, it had purses from several decades with a narrative about each uh, decade, and it was interesting to see how history plays a part in the evolution of handbags. And the other thing that was really interesting, there were uh, paintings on the wall in the museum that were done by a friend or relative of someone that works there. And in each of the paintings, there was a purse depicted, and the purses were those that were in the museum. And I got a surprise when I was there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well, but my my honey bought me a new wallet with a dachshund on it, which makes me extremely happy. Now that's all I got to say. Yes. Well, thank you for repeating half of what Louise said. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode of Putting Gold into the Golden Year. Well, that's it for this week. See you next time.